Korean is one of the best Minecraft builders, and he was gracious enough to share some of his bountiful knowledge in the form of Korean's build school. From furniture to fountains, this is basically the Bible for Minecraft builders. And that's why I'm here. Nobody tells me what to do, for I am an angsty teenager. Phew, with that out of the way, I want to build a castle. And everybody knows a good castle is made out of bricks, so I packed all of them. From bricks to prismarine bricks to endstone bricks to all of these, I hadn't even heard of most of them before. And I packed a couple of goodies for later. Um, they're pretty exciting, as you'll see. Our resources are packed, the furnaces are finished smelting, I think we're ready to go. Just, I wonder where we should start. Probably with the walls. Green gives a few tips for this, like depth, using sections, and using gradients. So keeping the theme of the video in mind, I'm gonna start by making a gradient. And who would have thought that putting all these bricks together would look so good? Anyways, we should probably get started. Uh, during the building process, I really tried to focus on the depth and the texture of all of the walls to create some visual interest. And I do believe that the gradients worked quite well to draw your eyes upward, so you're forced to admire the entire build. Like, nuh uh, honey, you don't get to look away. Finally, I'll finish the walls by adding some natural light. Will I be using glass panes? Will I be using fancy overhangs and decorations? Uh, no. However, I think we can all agree that this wall would keep any army away, no matter the size. No, not because it's ugly. Never mind, but we need an entrance. We could use an arch with stairs and slabs that looks quite sturdy and maybe it has a pillar to support it? I mean, I don't understand the pillar, but I guess if it makes it stable? I'm just gonna make Green proud, you know? I think he'd really like this arch, the nice curves, it really rounds everything out despite the blocky shape. Look, someone's already let themselves in. 10 out of 10, I do recommend the pillar. I'm looking over our build and it just looks a bit messy. But it'll just be such a shame to break off those blocks and all that glass, cause I don't happen to have silk touch on my pickaxe, so all of this glass is just going to go to waste. Oh well, it's for the build, right? Wow, beauty really is pain. But boy was that worth it. This build is spotless. Look at this beauty. Really cleaning up those finishing details is what has really brought this build together. As you can tell, I'm clearly incredibly concerned with my castle security, so let's make a roof. Oh, my roof needs shape, depth, contrast. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe I would have considered it, but I ran out of quartz anyways, so these other random blocks are gonna have to do in, with the massive hold too. But I did notice a few glass blocks that escaped, so I'm gonna have to clean those up. The roof made it incredibly dark, like what if a mob spawned there? I better ask Green what to do. Ooh, there's a bunch of different kinds of lights. I could hide them too. Okay, I think I know what to do. Yes, this is it. Not a single mob could spawn at my base, even during the night time. Still though, I feel empty. Let's fill it up. Ooh, a fireplace? So rustic, I love it. And these chairs, they are a must-have in any castle. And of course, you need a place to respawn. Let's bring some life inside. Paintings, of course. Fancy rug. These look like cups. Signs make a perfect chair armrest. Then let's finish up with a splash of beautiful color. It smells just like the ocean. It's clean an interior designer now. Oh, what's that? I hate half slabs up and up and up. I can't have my one wide spiral staircase? Too bad, my castle, my rules. Now for the finishing touch. Come here, piggies. Nobody was brave enough to make this decoration. Not only is it a chandelier, but you can ride on it. <sighs> Fine, I'll finish the roof. <sighs> now that our interior is looking truly marvelous, let's take our decoration skills outside. Let's go. 
Now, of course, we gotta make our trees incredibly organic looking to really sell the feel that these are from nature and not just generated by Minecraft. I'd say these trees feel incredibly natural. Now for the paths. Green says use lots of texture, lots of different shapes. Done. Finally, we're gonna use some natural decorations to make our build blend with the biome. Lava spawns in mountains, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. This looks real good. Now for the final touch, Green's Fountain, and it simply must go in the courtyard. So, buy items. I'm truly speechless. This looks magnificent. Now I think I'm ready to unveil the entire castle in all its glory. Yo, every block is right where it needs to be. Each pixel works together in perfect harmony to form what seems a celestial being. Merely looking at its beautiful form, my eyes are drawn to the heavens. Each edge reminds me of a crisp spring day. This castle, don't you think it's comparable to even Green's mansion?